Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's bus update video. So, we do have a few things to go over in this week's video. So, first and foremost, you may notice that 50 is parked next to 3. So, Peter sold his bus, and now 50 sits where his bus used to sit. So, no longer parked over there, now we park here. Uh, so, all three buses are now in a row, which is fantastic. Um, so... We do have some updates with 50 and 45 this week. Um, first, we'll go ahead and turn the bus on for these updates. So, I literally just got done doing it too, but I had had the idea to swap 50s dome lenses with 66s Amtran lenses just to kind of pay some homage to 66. So you might be able to tell it says uh, it's got the Amtran on it. Let's see, where's. So Amtran. Uh, now all of these lenses are located where they would have been located on 66 because when I took them off of 66 I marked the uh, back of the light with the number seat that it came from so all of these dome lenses are actually placed in the same exact um, air seat they were on 66 and interestingly enough you would think that the setup might change because transit conventional but no all these seat numbers for all these lights are exactly the same so um, that's pretty cool um, but yeah so now that's got the Amtran dome lenses just just as a way to pay homage to 66 uh, because you know 66 I mean 66 was a special bus so I wanted to have something on 50 to show some homage for 66 um, so the next thing that has been updated is the rear number. I know last bus update I talked about how I screwed it up. Well, I ordered new vinyl and it is now fixed. So here's the rear number now. Um, it's not crooked and it actually looks good. The only thing I don't like is the spacing between the five and the zero is different than the number that it had after the bodywork. So it's kind of spaced weird but that's okay, at least it's on there. Um, basically, here's 50 in its new spot, same spot where 66 sat. So through all this, it's kind of ha had some deja vu because, you know, for as long as 66 sat here, I mean, this is basically what it looked like, I mean, except for the fact that it was a transit. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, I about said 66, but this is 50 in 66's spot. So, let's go ahead and walk over to 45 and I'll show you the update with that. Uh, last video I talked about, well I tried replacing the ID. So, I did replace the ID and this is what it looks like now. So it's one set, like there's no spacing. Uh, which honestly I kind of like the way that looks better. Um, but you can definitely see the shadows and it's placed just a little bit higher than the original um, But that's okay. So you can see I mean you've got Original paint from where the old ID number was and I mean that's paint that hadn't seen the light of day in close to 30 years um, So that's 45's new ID um, Take a step back so you can see it uh, so I don't, I think that was just it on 45. Um, yeah, so 45 got a new ID number, 50 got a new rear number, 50 also got 66's dome lenses now. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing, which now we have to go back to 50, the other thing I'm thinking about doing for 50 is um, on like 2002, early O2 model year first gens and you know, FEs, REs, whatever they were making at the time, had a decal placed 
under these three lights right here that said American Transportation Corporation. So I am thinking about getting that recreated and so I can apply it here. I know that 50 is an IC all around because she was built at a time when it wasn't American Transportation Corporation anymore. It was IC Corporation. And the logos as well as the build plate reflects that. As you can see, IC Corporation. But I liked it. I always thought it looked cool on these buses. And I just think it would really look nice on this. So I think I will be doing that. Um, and I'm still thinking about adding arrow signals to the back of this. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, but aside from that, that's... I think that's pretty much our updates. Um, nothing new with three. I did film a diecast review here today, so that'll be something to look out for. Um, and yeah, I guess um, at this point we'll go ahead and get some driving video of the bus. So, let's see. How am I gonna do this? We'll see how this works. And you guys get to see how I have to blow this spot. It was a lot easier. I mean, the bus will do it, but it was a lot easier with 66. best way to describe this is like if you took a dog and you stretch the dog like you stretch his front legs and his back legs out so he's you know stretched out and then you ask the dog to turn a corner that's basically what it's like to make this bus make that turn it does it but it's just like it's awkward so that's that's my description of that so we'll go ahead and take this on a few laps and then maybe even do a few with 45. And I've got you guys just kind of sitting on the dash, so I'm going to try to not get too reckless here or, you know, crazy. Because I don't want you guys to fall. Child checkmate is now activated. Child checkmate, self check confirmed.
next two goals will be replacing that form and getting a different backup beeper. Because I don't care for either. I mean, those will probably not be like anytime soon, but it'll be on my list because I don't care for them. Alright, let's get in our parking spot here. This was a lot easier with 66. Let's go uh, move 45 around. All right.